What up, fam? You know, immediately after I did that first top 10 list, tons of movies came flooding in my head, and I was like, oh my god, how did I forget these movies? So I'm going to do two more parts of this list. It's going to be like a top 30 all time for me, which seems like a lot, but you know, if you haven't seen some of these movies, you might want to check them out. So anyway, we'll get going with the first one that popped into my head. I had to go get my DVD case, and uh, I noticed VHS style, baby, Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knight, this movie fantastic like way better than it had any real right to be um uh billy zane one of my all-time favorite villains in anything he owns this movie he's chewing on scenery so much he thinks it's his diet uh it's got an interesting premise uh it's tales from the crypt so you know it's got that strange like macabre sense of humor but it's good. This movie is really good. It's well made. The demons are creepy. It used to scare the crap out of me when I was a kid. Like just, ugh. This is the way they they look, kind of reptilian a little bit, but like also really dark and just scary. Yeah, it's a. This is a good movie. You should check it out. If you haven't seen it, it it's good. I don't even know how to find it anymore. Like I said, I still only have it on VHS. But uh, try to find it if you can. It's really good. Um, second one I had was. Uh, National Lampoon's Loaded Weapon 1. It's a parody of Lethal Weapon. It's got Emilio Estevez and uh, Samuel L. Jackson in it. It's just so full of awesome sight gags and plays on the tropes of buddy cop movies. It's really good and underrated. Like A lot of people don't even really uh, think about this movie. It's really good. Uh, if you can find it anywhere, I found it pretty cheap on DVD. It was like five bucks. Just check it out. You, it's just like an hour and a half long. So even if you hate it, you can just tell me you hate it. And uh, But at least you checked it out. Uh, the third one, Hot Shots Part 2. Now, I love Hot Shots or Part 2. Uh, Hot Shots 1, really good. But it's like too much of a straight one-to-one -one parody of uh, Top Gun. And I'm not the biggest Top Gun fan. Like, I mean, it's good, but it's not like my favorite. But the second one is like more of a... Uh, spoof of war films in general really leaning towards Rambo but it's so funny so dumb I, I as you probably noticed I really love dumb funny movies and uh, this definitely slots in Charlie Sheen winning in this with his tiger blood I mean like this is just a great performance uh, it's fun uh, there's uh, Ryan Stiles is in it from whose line is it anyway um, there's a bunch of people in here it's just good. It's you don't even really have, you don't have to see the first one like at all. Like there's a little bit of continuity, but just watch this one. It's got it's they up the ante on the gags. Uh, the next one, uh, Sin City. Now this is just a good movie. One of my favorite comic book movies of all time. The look of it, everything is amazing. Uh, the it's a little bit heavy handed and noirish and like with the uh, uh, constant narration, but it's still so good. Like this is a comic book come to life like if if it, it's off the page this is a beautiful movie and ugly horrifyingly ugly and gritty and just full of just interesting compelling terrible characters if you haven't seen sin city uh because you're like oh i don't know if i'll be interested in it or whatever you might not be but you should definitely still check it out i'm gonna tell you that for all these movies i like them you might too why not give it a shot uh next i got uh tropic thunder this movie's been pretty controversial here lately because of uh, the blackface element or whatever. But like that was the point of the joke. I I, I don't. I'm not gonna comment on it because I don't have. I mean, I'm pretty white, so I don't really have a horse in this race. If you're offended by it, I'm sorry. I I, I don't think that was their intention. I mean, it never is. But I mean, I really think that they were just like up playing on the ridiculousness of some of these method actors. But uh, anyway, great movie, full of great performances, funny, quotable. Uh, all-star cast of just comedy like heavyweights uh jack black's having a moment right now and uh this is one of the movies that kind of led to it uh number six uh your highness <laughs> this movie is so hated by people people hate this movie it's is i love it like i love it i, I just i can't help it it's a, a sword and fantasy movie but like written by people who are clearly stoned i love this movie uh, Danny McBride, uh, James Franco, who may or may not be canceled, I don't know. But uh, if you can look past the artist and into the art, this is still a pretty good movie. It just it feels like an Apatow flick, like but like even more ridiculous. This is just a good movie. It's just it's fun and uh, it, like there's lots of subtle jokes. 
it's very smart despite being stupid. Uh, this is a good movie to me, like one of my favorites. I've watched this movie about a million times. Uh, number seven, another so dumb movie, MacGruber. Oh, God, I love MacGruber so much. Uh, just I can just quote it endlessly. There's so many just little jokes in it that are just priceless to me. Uh, MacGruber as a character, obviously a spoof of MacGyver, uh, but just taken to 11. This is such a, a, a underrated movie. And, and, and they made like a, a, a sequel series to it. And I, I watched like the first episode of it and it had some like some of the same kind of humor. But like they leaned into too much of the silly last name pronunciation. Like this one's funny. The guy's name is Dieter von Kunth. You know, clearly it sounds like Dick. No, I'm just kidding. It sounds like Kunth. You know that. that any, everyone knows that. But the the other one, like they they just had too many characters with silly names. Like they didn't have to do that. Like that's not the best joke. And they just really kind of ran that one at the ground. So I, I might might go back and finish the series. I only watched one episode of it, and I, I there's more to it. I know there is. It's got to be better than that. I don't think it's going to get a sequel uh, series or a sequel movie, but, you know, that first one's good. That's all you need. That's all you need. Uh, number eight, uh, Starship Troopers. Oh, man, Starship Troopers, though. Like, ah, uh, come on, Starship Troopers, though. Really? Johnny Rico, Roughnecks. Uh, this is just a good movie. Uh, if you love... Aliens, which is coincidentally going to be on my next list, uh, then you'll love Starship Troopers because it is fascism made fun. Like, I, I don't know how else to explain it. They, The fascists are the good guys, so they make you root for the absolute worst people. It's like uh, Devil's Rejects, where like, yeah, these are the worst people, but uh, they're the heroes, so yay, go them. I mean, at least I was. Maybe I'm crazy. Uh, who knows? So that they're, they're my, that's my honorable mention for this list, uh, Devil's Rejects. Rob Zombie's Finest Hour, just a good movie all around. You should check that out. But you should all first check out Starship Troopers because this is my favorite We're Rooting for the Bad Guys movie because they just really make you, like, love these terrible fascists. I mean, they're terrible. Like, we invaded the alien species planet and then we're pissed that they're trying to kill us. Like, I mean, we fucked up. It's our fault. So, I mean, I can't really... But, yeah, Starship Troopers, there's a lot of sequels. Avoid. But if you can watch the show, Rough Necks, Starship Troopers, is like a, a, a 2000s, early, late 90s uh, computer animated TV show. It's really good, um, despite looking like not so good. Uh, but yeah, those are the only two things I really fucks with in the Starship Troopers uh, pantheon. Besides the book. I guess the book's good. It invented Space Marines. You know, that's... It invented Space Marines, man. You gotta give it... Uh, number nine... Um, Saw, the original Saw. Uh, for a while, with me and my friends, this was a tradition. We would go see the new Saw movie every Halloween, and we'd dress up and just have a good time. And uh, we continued it with the Jigsaw movie, which wasn't as good. Sorry, Chris Rock. You're just not, I just can't see you as a serious character. But I hear that they're making another Saw movie, and it's going to be more in line with the originals. So here's hoping that that... Uh, tradition can recontinue because i don't care if they keep making these a million times this is like uh, faces of death to me like you just not faces of death oh my god final destination uh where you you go there just to see the traps and like the the mystery like it, it like it draws you in like what's the twist what's the twist it's like an m night Shyamalan movie but like way more violent so yeah i, I love the saw franchise now any of the saw movies can pretty much go in here but the first one really hooked us like we loved this movie when we first saw it and uh, my final one is the Dawn of the Dead remake. Uh, remakes are usually not great. Uh, fast zombie movies are usually not great. But this is both. And somehow, it's fucking great. Uh, people who don't like Zack Snyder or whatever, because he like uh, they, they just think he's too super serious or whatever, they need to watch these types of movies that he makes. They're hilarious. There's lots of levity in these movies. Uh, the action and the gore is top notch. This is a great zombie movie. This got me back into the genre. Like, I was out. I was done. I was like, yeah, you've done everything you can do. Then they did this. And I was like, oh my God, redoing something was actually making you do something new. So yeah, Dawn of the Dead remake. Check it out. Check out all these movies. I mean, just, if you don't like them, yell at me in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, I'm just trying to spread the word. So do what you got to do. And uh, 
You guys have a great day. Peace.